Guys, there is a video that the YouTube algorithm has served me over and over again from various creators and it inspired me to film this video as well. So today guys, we're gonna talk about if I was starting over my luxury collection, fingers crossed that never happens, but if I was to restart my luxury collection, which 10 items would I purchase immediately? So we're talking about luxury items that I think are worth the price, that I wear all the time, like my favorite 10 things of my luxury collection that I own. Welcome back guys. I am Amanda Seedler Aesthetic. Welcome back. If you're a subscriber, welcome. If you're new, we do all of these types of luxury item videos all the time. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to stick around. But guys, without further rambling, let's just talk about the 10 best luxury items I own. And just to preface a little bit, I mean, this kind of follows up on my video I filmed about saving or splurge because I mean that in essence is kind of my luxury mentality, right? You save on some items, you splurge on others. So if you haven't watched that video, may I suggest you watch it. I'll link it up here in the cards. But now I'm holding my first item here, which you all know is one of these hero pieces in my collection. When I think about the luxury items that I actually wear, one really luxurious work bag that is luxurious but still wearable is at the top of my list because if you don't know I work like an office job I go to the office and I like looking stylish doing it you know and this Prada double bag in the size large I bought when I got my first big girl job and I've worn it literally almost every day since and that was back in like 2018 right it literally still looks in great condition that's why also I would recommend this as my kind of luxurious work bag right because it's hard wearing it looks so stylish so classic so luxurious but she's still just like performing year on year on year so the first thing I would repurchase in a heartbeat like if I was starting over my luxury collection would for sure be one of these Prada double bags it's kind of like my workhorse every day going to the office type of bags right because for me that like little walk to the office it's like my time to like get in the mindset of work and kind of get like pepped up for the day right and if I don't wear a bag that sets me into that mood my day is not as good right so this bag is literally my favorite thing to wear when I go to the office and therefore since I wear it every day I think it's so worth the splurge so first thing I would buy is my Prada double in the size large which fits my computer as well if you want to know more about this bag I made a review I'll link it up here for you but now let's move on to the next item Item. Staying on the topic of kind of looking chic, cool, calm, collected on an everyday basis, I thought let's just pause on the bags for a moment and talk about coats because I think coats are also those like hero pieces in my wardrobe that if I lost everything, I would definitely want to repurchase a couple of good like staple piece coats. And like I said, I live in Sweden, right? And we have a little bit of all types of weathers. <laughs> so we need all types of jackets as well. I would categorize my coats in two sections. One kind of cooler weather and one warmer weather. Simple, I know. Don't overlook the simple things in life, right? A very staple piece, kind of classic looking coat for kind of warmer weather seasons, I think is so great. This year, I added a Burberry trench coat to my collection. This is a Burberry Sandringham short trench coat and obviously this beige color with a little belt. And to be honest, I have worn this coat so much. I scored such a good deal on this on Best Year Collective as well. So, I mean, when I say splurge, I don't necessarily mean like going into the store. I said this in my video where I talked about saving versus splurging. I don't necessarily mean just go into the store and use up all your money on designer things. No, that's not what we should do. First off, don't go into debt buying luxury things. That's not a cute look. We don't do that. Make sure you save money like in stocks and bonds and all of that kind of stuff before you even think about buying any luxury items, please and thank you. 
personal finance 101 with Amanda, Seedler Aesthetic. But anyhow, one of these like classic, timeless coats that will never go out of style, that will match everything in your wardrobe. I picked a beige one. I know there are like navy blue and black ones as well, and I think those look so great. But for me personally, I felt like there's nothing more classic than like a beige trench coat from Burberry. You know, it's just one of those like hero pieces that I can never go wrong with. Like literally, when you're walking out on the street, like 90% of what people will notice will be your coat, your shoes, and your bags, right? We'll talk about shoes as well because I think a good quality shoe is so important. But Burberry trench coat, and this is in the Sandringham style, like I said, in the short, for the kind of warmer weather seasons. Would repurchase, love it so much. Let's move on to the cold weather. And this is obviously a Burberry coat as well. It's black, it's in wool, it's in this trench coat style. And I think this coat, it gives off such a like cool, classy, classic, timeless feel. Like when I wear this, I feel important, you know? I feel like the quality of the wool is so nice. It keeps me so warm without like feeling claustrophobic and like too warm. It's just that perfect cooler weather coat and I can wear this in like the winter months or like the colder fall type of months as well. So October starting now, I guess. I actually bought a black beret to go with this. Can you imagine like this wool trench coat style with a little beret? Oh my gosh, so cute. I'm so excited about that. But one of those things that I think is so worth the splurge is a great quality cold weather coat. Obviously, if your climate calls for that, right? I mean, if you, like me, live in a climate that gets cold, it gets cool, it gets like dark during the winter, I mean, just wrapping up in one of these coats makes you feel a little bit better on your way to work, right? And that's all we ask for. But I mean, for me, this was really difficult to pick. I think the Burberry coat is the most versatile, don't get me wrong, but I also love a Max Mara coat. I cannot lie. This is the Max Mara Dritto coat. It has a fur-lined hood, so if that is not your thing, then stay away from this coat. But I mean, essentially, when I wear this and just like wrap it around me, tie the little belt, around my waist. I feel like such a luxurious queen, literally. I'm not gonna blabber on because this is not my pick, but equally, if you're already set on the kind of like workwear, kind of like timeless classic type of coat that you can wear to any occasion, whether it's work, whether it's like a party, a dinner, just a day out shopping, that is your Burberry wool black trench coat. You can never go wrong. But if you want something that's a little bit more girly, a little bit more feminine, a little bit more fun, could we say as well, then I would definitely recommend you to look into the Burberry, no, not Burberry, Max Mara Dritto coat, because I mean, for me, this is one of these pieces that, I mean, I bought two. I have one in gray, I have one in camel as well. This is not my pick, but I just wanted to mention this coat just in case this is your cup of tea. You know, I couldn't like not mention it, but let's move on. And staying on the topic of picking one item for cold weather and one item for warm weather, obviously we need to talk about scarves. I mean, a scarf can just like upgrade your outfit. Like it's not one of those like extortionally expensive luxury items in my opinion. It gives off that kind of like last hero item of your outfit, right? Like you already have your perfect outfit, you have your perfect bag, your perfect coat, and then you just throw on that last item, which obviously is your scarf, to like complete the look. So my warm weather pick is my Hermes Silk Maxi Twilly. I think this item just elevates any outfit. And this is one that if I, once again, gosh forbid, lost, I would definitely repurchase one. I mean, obviously I wouldn't probably be able to find this exact pattern because Hermes kind of circles different patterns in different seasons, right? So if I lost this, I would probably not be able to get this again, and that makes me so sad. <laughs> I think a silk scarf, it doesn't have to be Hermes, but a silk scarf to like throw on on those like warmer weather days where you just need that last little oomph to your outfit, you know? This is worth the splurge in my opinion. And if I lost it, I would repurchase it. Moving on. My cold weather pick <laughs> is one, if you're a subscriber, you have seen this before. I'm kind of embarrassed to show it at this point because it's, it's past its prime. Let's just 
just be honest. I mean, I bought this Burberry wool scarf and I want to say 2012 and obviously it's 2022 right now so it's been with me for 10 years i wore this literally every day in university like this was my favorite thing of life it's also one of those pieces like you're just wearing a boring like all black not boring but you're just wearing a plain all black outfit throw this on like also throw on like a cool little belt like this one from saint laurent i mean this is my python little saint laurent belt but i'm not gonna talk about belts today because i think you can buy really nice leather like high quality belts from brands that are not designer but anyhow throw on like a cool bell a nice shoe and like this Burberry scarf and I'm just like so stylish so cool so like I'm here to study you know? <laughs> that was me in university just like one of those like Burberry checkered either wool or cashmere scarves I feel like you can never go wrong with they'll never go out of style like I said it's worn out at this point so I'll probably buy a new one even if I don't lose it so that just speaks for itself I think this type of scarf like a Burberry checkered scarf in a classic color and a classic check print you can never go wrong and if I lost it I would repurchase it and it's so worth the splurge I want to talk about shoes now first off I do have designer sneakers this feels like a confession now but I do have designer sneakers I don't necessarily think designer sneakers are worth the splurge like there are so many other brands of sneakers like Veja for example like those vegan cute sneakers with a V I think those are so cute I mean you have Adidas you have Nike you have everything and they all make like Puma or whatever and they all make such nice sneakers so I would say if I lost my Saint Laurent sneakers I would not repurchase I would probably go for like a Nike Dunk or something like that because that's what all the cool girls do at the moment right but two types of shoes that I think are so worth the splurge is one a pair of really nice boots and two a pair of like elevated like party or like event type shoe. I mean when I go to an event I like feeling really dressed up and really pretty right but first off let's talk about boots and with the risk of repeating myself I'm gonna talk about my Stuart Weitzman 5050 boots once again. I wear them all the time. They look great in real life. They look even better in photos I would say. Like they have this like really luxurious leather. I bought the all leather version by the way. I'm wearing a size 37 and I'm usually a size 37 and a half. I'm gonna make a video all about Stuart Weitzman boots because I love them. I live for them. I will die on this hill for Stuart Weitzman boots, you know? They're really comfy. I've worn them a lot. Like literally, these are a staple shoe in my collection. If I lost them and when they get worn out, I will for sure repurchase a pair because I think these are just such a timeless, classic, classy looking shoe. And like I said, they look great in pictures as well. And you know when you find a pair of like flat boots that look great in pictures, you're like living, I'm thriving, I'm loving this life. <laughs> But anyhow, my Stuart Weitzman 5050 boots so worth this splurge. If you don't have a pair of Stuart Weitzman boots, would highly recommend you check them out. And Stuart Weitzman, if you want to send me a discount code that I can recommend people to use, you know where to find me. <laughs> and like I said, on the shoe front, we're talking about one pair of everyday boots. If I lost all of my designer things, I would definitely want to have like one really nice like dressed up shoe. And for me, I mean, that will always be Manolo's, let's be honest. I do have some like Aqua Sura, I have some Louboutin. I mean, I have some Stuart Weitzman heels as well, but for me, like a Manolo heel, it's just unmatched, let's be honest. But obviously your event shoes does not have to be heels, right? You can equally go for like a Manolo shoe, but in a flat style, right? For me, the Hengisis is just what Manolo is all about. These are the 105 millimeter heel. I think they're such a classic and classy shoe. I mean, they are quite a high heel, but in my opinion, like walking in these versus walking in my 850 millimeter Louboutin Pigalles, yeah, that's what they're called. I mean, these are more comfy. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it's a higher heel, but I think because of the length of this like heel 
fastening. I mean, they become so comfy, like literally. I am so impressed by Manolo for making these like super stylish, super chic, super feminine heels, but making them comfortable at the same time, right? I have one in this off-white color as well. Let me see if I can hold them up. And these are in the 650 millimeter. Like in comparison, these feel like I'm walking in a flat shoe. And you know, sometimes I just don't want to be this tall, right? So having this in like a shorter heel in like a summery color as well. I mean, these are so easy to walk in. I was at an event for like, I think six hours and I walked in these with no problem. But like I said, if you're not a heel kind of wearer, then I mean, the hangisis come in a flat shoe style as well, right? But I would love to have like a flat pair as well. But I think for me, for now, I'm good with these. And like, if I lost, I guess I have to choose one. Oh no, do I have to choose one? I mean, they're the same shoe style, right? So, <sighs> this is so difficult. I'm choosing both. This is my channel. And if you're only buying one item after seeing this video, not being dramatic, but this thing is everything. <laughs> This is my Louis Vuitton key holder, but I mean if you're a subscriber to my channel You already know that I keep both my keys and cards in this little thing. It's an all-in-one. It's a key holder It's a card holder two wishes in one It's like one of those kinder eggs right that you got as a kid, you know the chocolate thingies with a gift inside Yeah, that's this. This is a kinder egg for adults. If you're gonna splurge on one designer thing, I feel like it should be this. This gives me joy every day to like pay for something or like lock my door. Yeah, I just love this so much. It's in leather, obviously. You can get the monogram ones as well, but for me, this just feels so low-key, so timeless. I mean, literally, if I lost this... I would not only lose my keys and my cards, but also my favorite little SLG. And as a matter of fact, this is the only SLG I recommend you to own from a designer brand. I don't really condone buying all of these pouches and little wallets and all of that kind of stuff. I'm just like, why? You just keep it in your bag and it's just sitting in there. Apart from this, because this is a superhero. This is something that should be a human right to own. I love this so much. Buy it in your favorite color, wear it every day, and get like that little like, hey, I'm luxurious vibe every day when you lock your door or pay for something or, you know, that kind of stuff. So cost per wear, nothing. Like literally, it must be cents at this point. So only SLG worth buying, a key and card holder. It doesn't have to be Louis Vuitton. It can be Prada. It can be anything. I actually think the Prada ones look really cute, but I've heard the Louis Vuitton ones are better quality and that's why I bought that one. So... Oh, and we have two bags left to talk about, but maybe first, let me just bring in a random thing. And that's jewelry. I love jewelry. I think jewelry can just transform your outfit and like make you look so much more intentional, so much more chic, so much more like you thought out your outfit, you know? I have three categories of jewelry that I could not live without. One is a really nice watch, or it doesn't really have to be really nice. Like I just like having like a nice watch, you know? It doesn't need to be a Patek or whatever. I'm not about that life, but I have my Omega watch. This used to be my dad's. He said the watch fashion changed, so he gave me this watch. And I love it so much. I've worn it literally ever since he gave it to me. And now I resized the little bracelet, so now he cannot get it back, right? Because now it suits me and not him. <laughs> Thank you, dad. <laughs> One like watch that like gives you that kind of I'm important type of watch vibe. That is this watch for me, right? Just an automatic watch in great quality would highly recommend. Then we have the second category of like fine jewelry. I love fine jewelry. Love this gold pendant. I have this little gold heart as well, which I wear a lot. Then I have my little family heirloom rings, which I wear all the time. This one is with little sapphires and diamonds and this one is with rubies and diamonds and then I have my little like a little heart with a tiny diamond in the middle. I used to wear this as a kid but now obviously my hands have grown so I can only wear it on my pinky finger but I think it's so cute. And then we have the fashion jewelry and I love Hermes Click H bracelets like literally. If you're a subscriber you know that I always wear these. Now today I'm mixing metals because I think that's kind of fun so I'm wearing my black and gold and I'm wearing my maroon and 
silver as well. I love them so much. I wear at least one every day, most days two of them, and combine the different colors. I think it's so fun. I have made a video about them. I bought my first one. This red one actually was my first one I bought like 10 years ago, I want to say. So I made actually a video, like a 10-year update, and like a full-scale review for these like Hermes Click H bracelets. So if you haven't seen that video and you're thinking about buying an Hermes Click H bracelet, I would suggest you watch that video because I have some good tips for you on how to buy it and make a good deal because you know on my channel we love a good deal, especially when it's on luxury that you wear all the time. Random jewelry chat out of the way. Let's talk about my bags and those are the two last items we're gonna talk about today. Obviously, I already talked about one bag category, which is that everyday workhorse bag that you just wear, it just works, it just is there to perform every day. Then, similarly to my shoe option, like if I lost everything, I would want to have one like event bag and I would want to have like one everyday kind of running errands, day-to-day -day kind of activities and not like a full-blown big Prada bag that fits my computer, fits the kitchen sink, the living room couch, you know, all of that. But just like a smaller one that's just easy going, easy to throw on. And for that pick, I mean, you already saw it coming, didn't you? We all did. It will be for sure my Hermes Evelyn in the PM size. I feel like this bag is just that easy going, low key luxurious. No one even knows that it's a branded bag, right? Unless you wear the perforated H to the front, but this is the back of the bag and I really stand for the front to the front for this bag, you know? I always wear the front to the front. And I just love this bag. This is also one of these things that looks great in pictures. Like when I wear this and take a picture, it's like, Wow, that leather quality just translate through the picture, you know? <laughs> it's one of those. And in person as well. And I love it so much. So if I lost this, I would definitely repurchase it. I mean, the price tag on it is kind of aggressive. I'm not gonna lie. But equally, I mean, I would lie if I'm saying that I'm not looking into buying another one because, I mean, I've said this multiple times on my channel. I would love, like, I would love to have an Hermes Evelyn and the GM size in the etoupe color with white contrasting stitching. Sign me up. I want it so bad. That will probably be my next bag purchase. I'm literally thinking about it every day. <laughs> I am such a loser, I need to get a life. So my everyday like casual running errands, going to the supermarket, going for a casual fika. If you're from Sweden, you know what a fika is. If you don't, a fika is where you go for a coffee and pastry with your friends. You just sit down, you have a deep meaningful chat, a DMC, and you're just living your best life. And this is my like living my best casual day life bag, guys. Last thing on this list that I would repurchase if I lost it and that I stand by that it's worth the price is an event bag, obviously. I mean, I had to think long and hard about this, right? Because an event bag for me, that could be my little YSL envelope chain wallet. You know I have two. I have this red one with gold hardware. I have that gray one with silver hardware. An event bag for me could also be my Chanel small flap and the lambskin in this chocolate brown color with the actual gold plated hardware. This is vintage. It was made in 1994, the year I was born. We are twins. I love her so much. But she is not my pick, mainly because I think Chanel has become so expensive that, I mean, if you're buying Chanel now, I cannot confidently say that I think it's worth the price. I mean, I'm sad to say that, but, you know, sometimes you just need to face reality, and the reality is that Chanel has become ridiculously expensive. So I could not stand here with my back straight and say that Chanel is worth the price. So sad. <laughs> but I could also say that this type of bag, but for me, this is a very seasonal piece, and I would not recommend you to go out and buy a seasonal piece if you're only going gonna buy one event bag, right? I love this bag. It's velvet. I love the velvet. Like, literally. It looks so luxurious. It's a YSL. I didn't say that. It's a YSL sunset bag in velvet. It's the small sunset bag. I love it so much. But she's kind of high maintenance. Like, she... 
attracts fluff like there's no tomorrow. Rounding up this ramble, the one event bag I would repurchase if I lost it is my Prada here. What? Believe it or not, <laughs> this bag is such a great event bag. Like literally. I know she is kind of large and in charge. Not large, but she's in charge and she's out there and she's like an acquired taste, you know? But I think this bag has done me so well. This bag has seen me through so much, like literally. I can wear it from like anywhere from like going to the supermarket to like going to an event and like a party and like a dance party and kind of like a concert and you know all of the above. I think she transforms an outfit like from like a classy classic outfit to just something that is elevated and is different and just brings that little like spice to your look, you know? <laughs> I'm not sure why it's spice to your look, but she just brings a little bit of depth and kind of intelligence and she's acquired and she's like the one ordering some French wine in the perfect French accent. This is that bag. Or like the vampire just like wearing that dark lipstick and like sipping. I don't know what a vampire would drink apart from blood, I'm sorry. But you know, if I lost it, I would repurchase it. I've worn this bag literally to every occasion. And one of my friends actually said that this kind of describes my personality. I'm not sure how I should take that, but the one event bag I would repurchase if I lost it is definitely my product here. And guys, that was it. Those were my, I hope, 10. That felt like more than 10. But I mean, the jewelry was just random, so that's not on my list. So we're not counting those. But those were my 10 luxury items that I would repurchase if I lost them. The kind of core 10 luxury items that I love the most, that I could not live without. And if you are just now starting your collection, I would just say have a think about these things. I hope this gave you a little bit of an indication of which luxury items in my collection I think are worth the splurge and I would buy immediately if I lost them or if I was starting over my luxury collection. I really enjoyed having this chat with you. Obviously, I got the opportunity to show you and talk about all of my favorite things. So I am so happy. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give the video a like. If you want to stay around and have more of these chats with me, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel, ring my bell, and and if you have more time to spend with me today, I'll link two videos right here that I and YouTube thinks you will enjoy. And guys, thank you so much for watching and until my next video, stay safe, take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye! Woo!